Welcome to another video overview of Project Libre. My name is Mark O'Brien. I am one of the co-founders of Project Libre along with Laurent Cretineau. Today we're going to review a topic we get quite a few questions on, which is calendars. There are four types of calendars in Project Libre, and we'll go through them. They are base calendars, project calendars, task calendars, and resource calendars. Before we see how they work in Project Libre, here are their definitions. A base calendar is really a default template for project task and resource calendars. They establish the standard working and non-working times for all projects in your organization, which days are work days each week and what are the default hours in the work day. They also allow for particular non-work days like a national holiday. Project Libre jumpstarts you with three initial base calendars. They're called standard, night shift, and 24 hour. Each of these would have different workday hours, but share the same holidays, for instance. Then we go to the last three calendars, <clears throat> project, resource, and task. They all use a base calendar to start, but can be altered to account for use cases. Uh, these calendars are useful in modeling the reality of your project work. A good example is a 24-hour calendar assigned to a material resource, like a machine that works around the clock. Now the project, resource, and task calendars work together. An example I will show in a minute is if a five-day task is scheduled Monday through Friday, but the resource assigned to complete the task does not work on Tuesdays. The task itself would have a standard calendar, but since the resource would be assigned a resource calendar that does not include working on Tuesdays, then Project Libre would schedule appropriately, and that task would finish one day later since Saturday and Sunday are also not on either calendar as work days, then it would actually finish on Monday. That models reality, the calendar is working, uh, kind of a time intersection drives the schedule. An associated item, <clears throat> excuse me, that we won't cover here today, but is a good example is duration and elapsed duration. Duration by definition in project management is counted by the number of work periods, and that is set in the calendar options. Uh, the definition of duration is the total number of work periods to complete a task. So even though a task moves out three days, it is still a five-day task based on the work. You may say that is strange, and uh, if you want to see the timestamp start to timestamp finish of a calculated task, that is actually elapsed duration. A quick warning, we are very precise with elapsed duration down to the minute. So a partial start of a day and a partial end of a day uh, can give you a pretty precise elapsed duration. Okay, enough of the verbiage. Let's show how this works. Um, creating a project called calendars. And what I'll do is put some tasks in. I'm going to use the undo redo for the task uh, <clears throat> entry so that I'm not wasting your time. I'll enter a standard calendar task, a seven day a week calendar task a 24-hour-a-day calendar task, and Tuesday off calendar task. These are just the names of the tasks, so they're representative of uh, the calendar that we're going to apply to them. And I'm going to make each one of them 10 days long. And then I am going to go and save a baseline for the entire project so that we can see what, in fact, these uh, calendar changes affect. So I go to the calendar. I had mentioned there's three base calendars to start with, standard, 24-hour, and night shift, okay? What we're going to do is create a new calendar. And we're going to say it is seven day a week. And we're going to create that. Now what I'm going to do is click on Saturday, actually that's Sunday, and say it is non-default working time. And you can see it now turns, and I'll do the same with, uh, with Saturday. It's non-default working time. You can see this is where you can put your hours in as well. Um, this is simply an eight to five, and I'll say okay. So we now have that calendar. <clears throat> I'm also going to create a Tuesday off calendar. And I'll call that Tuesday off. Say OK. And in, in this instance, I'll just highlight the Tuesday and say it's non-working time and say OK with that. 
So now we've got this baseline. If I go through the, uh, the standard calendar, I'll go to the advanced tab on the task detail screen. It's already got the standard, but I'll put it in there. And I'll close that. You can see nothing changed. The baseline and the task are the same. If I go to the seven day a week calendar, close on that, you're going to see that it's now compressed, obviously, and it is actually working Saturday and Sunday. I can do the same with a 24 hour task. And you can see that's even shorter. <clears throat> and then the Tuesday off. And that is longer because it, it does in fact finish on, on Monday because of that uh, because of that gap. So that kind of explains um, how the project calendars work, the task calendars and the resource calendars. Um, this is just an overview of calendars for you. I've had a lot of community members reach out with feedback. If you do have topics that you'd like covered, please send them to info at projectlibre.com and we'll try to get to them. Your suggestions have been great on enhancements. We are heads down looking to get the Project Libre cloud beta released, so have not been able to respond to all of them. But I hope this helps, and if you can reciprocate and use social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, hashtag uh, Project Libre, that is appreciated. So have a great day, and I hope this is helpful.